Megan Olivi here at the MGM Grand. I'm with Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson, who just defeated Miguel Torres by a unanimous decision. First of all, you just came out of the locker room. I know your legs hurt. How is it feeling right now? Uh, it hurts pretty bad. You know, um, when I kicked him, he checked it. I thought I broke it, and um, I had to back up a little bit and uh, resituate myself and um, pull it together. And you know, I was like basically fine on one leg, and it was hurting real bad. I was my mobility, my stand up, my footwork wasn't there, so. We saw you say something to your corner in the second round, um, after the second round. Is that when you hurt your leg? Yeah, yeah. It was like right in the beginning of the first, second round, and I kicked him, you know, and uh, he checked it, and I rolled it over too much, so he connected with my uh, my shin bone, not shin bone, but the shin muscle. And I came back to my corner, and I was like, right, guys, I think my leg's broke. And my coach was like, no, dude, it's not broke. It's like, push through it, push through it. And I was like, all right, all right, here we go. What did the doctors backstage tell you? Um, they asked me like it is it crunch or anything and I was like no and then like when I you know try to move it It just hurts really tight. It's almost like a charlie horse in your tendon and uh, I thought I broke it because it was it was popping each time I uh, Step on it. So all right. Well that fight was so back and forth Miguel had you in a couple, you know compromising positions You said you changed your defense for that, but did you think he was gonna get that close? Um, you know, I, I think when we were going back and forth, you know, we both were in heel hook position. Um, he had me in like a reverse triangle, uh, but nothing was too tight. You know, I'm, I'm a wrestler and I'm very good about hand fighting and always fighting the smaller things. And my coaches were real, real good on me about, you know, training my defense because we knew he has a high guard and him being 5'9", me 5'3", you know, I'm a short compact guy and he's long. So it looks a lot worse when I'm in there because he can just go Rah! and then get me. So. Him being 5'9", did you find training partners that could mimic Miguel's style and size? Oh, yeah, definitely, you know, because uh, Miguel Torres, he, he, he plays a tall man's game, you know, now that he's with TriStar, you know. Before, he wasn't, a, he didn't play tall man game, you know, because he would move, his movement was way better. Now, he, he just sits there and waits to put the hand in front. And um, like I said, I'm 5'3", all the guys in my gym, they're all 5'9", 5'10". I mean, I was training the guy who was like 6'3", in his guard, and he was throwing up high guard, and I was getting ready for it, so it was good. You beat Miguel Torres, you beat Kid Yamamoto in your last fight. You're beating everybody they put in front of you. Do you think you should get the winner of your eye favor and Dominic Cruz? Um, you know, that's the UFC's uh, choice. You know, I told Sean Shelby, you keep calling, I'll keep fighting. That's my job and I'm here to fight and uh, I'll go home and, you know, take care of this leg and go back to work on Tuesday and, uh, and see what happens from there. You know, wait till the call. Going back to work on Tuesday, last time we spoke you said you were working 40 hours a week. Is that still happening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So work 40 hours a week. You know, if I came down here for this fight, I, was, I worked 50 hours, you know, and uh, did my thing. And my boss was like, go ahead, go go have fun and come back. Don't get hurt. Come back. You break anything, you break him, all right? And I was all right, I'll be back. Don't don't run my machine. So it, it was good, you know. I'm, I'm healthy and uh, I'm ready to get back home and uh, get back to work and get back to training, you know. Get back to work training and video games because I see you're decked out in Xbox 360. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, I can't wait. You know, um, after I get done with this fight, you know, hopefully I'll be making a trip to E3 in California. Uh, thanks to Xbox. Thank you guys. And uh, make sure everybody gets behind Xbox. We're really trying to uh, get behind the sport and uh, be, you know, uh, a big thing behind the sport. So awesome, Demetrius. Well, congratulations tonight. It was awesome watching that fight. Thank you. For more UFC 130 coverage, keep checking heavy.com.